Hello, I'm Andy and I'm going to read to you a program which is called Weekly Horoscope from the 4th of November to the 10th of November 2018 and this is for you from Gemini. Let's start with the 4th of November Sunday and it's going to be a 24 hours of wonderful good news for you. You could charm a bird of a tree and you'll do some things unexpectedly which people will love to see in the morning afternoon period. Planets are moving very fast. Your mind is also moving very fast. And because these planets are good, they bring unexpected good news that way. So be on the phone, be on the email, send your messages, ask favors, and you will see it's an exciting morning afternoon period. You'll be with people who are also going to make you very happy. Since the planets are moving very fast, try to drive slow because you will be stretched left, right, center to do a lot. So planning is very important for the morning afternoon period. Evening nightfall also very good. This time planets slow down. Slow down planets means long term planets. So they are planning something for you long term in the evening nightfall period. And you got to go slow as well. You can't be faster than your own planets. No. So tell yourself I'll be patient because hour by hour these good evening nightfall planets will work for you and bring plenty of opportunities to come your way. So a wonderful 24 hours, whole day you got to look good, whole day you got to dress well, whole day you got to behave your best, you are being watched. Some good news of the past will also be very nice to hear for you. The 5th November, Monday, now that's an excellent morning afternoon period. Whether you are going to work, whether you are going to business, whether you are going to be at home, whether you are going to be out with anybody whether you're planning to chase for the romance, whether you want to do something to make your marriage happy, everything under the sun is possible. But not everything can be done under the sun. So focus on what you really want to do morning, afternoon. If it's a job focus there, it's a business focus there. Have lunch with somebody, it's going to be a wonderful lunch for you. So you're going to be very lucky in the morning, afternoon. So you've got to get into the right mood, communicate, ask favors, Send your emails, talk about your ideas and you will get something very wonderful in the morning afternoon period. Evening nightfall, some fire planets are there. These fire planets make your tongue very sharp. They make you very aggressive in your speech especially and sometimes in your actions as well, which is not good. So you're on fire basically with these fire planets. Of course, some of your good planets will come there to somehow help you in the evening nightfall, but I can see these fire planets, they make you provocative with the words, provocative with your actions, so you've got to take the soft approach. Don't be over-determined to get what you want. You may step on shoes, you may ruffle feathers, not good, because you'll make enemies or people will dislike you, so take the soft approach. Be patient, evening nightfall, and definitely do not provoke anybody or things can go very upsettingly wrong. The 6th November Tuesday, what a wonderful morning afternoon again for you. And I wish you place your work or whether in business you are going to say or do something which is going to be very rewarding for you. So go ahead and say and do something in the morning afternoon period whether at work, whether in business, chase for the contracts, communicate, send emails. And you will be doing something very special because you will attract reward in the morning afternoon period. You will be very creative and you definitely will have ideas which are fantastically good. Evening nightfall, not so good, be careful. The planet of arrogance is leading a little group of planets that make you dominating, arrogant, criticizing everybody, showing off your worst side of character in that way. So you've heard that from me, so you don't want to do that in the evening nightfall period of the 6th of November. Turn it around, be part of a team, be negotiable, be flexible, be appreciative, be supportive, who won't love you for that? And when you do that, you confuse these planets. The plan is one thing, what you do is another thing. So listen to me and go that way and you will do much better in your evening nightfall of this 6th of November. The 7th of November, Wednesday, is going to be a terrible morning and afternoon period for you. I worry about accidents of all kinds, whether it's physical, whether it's verbal, whether it's emotional accidents, something is going to be dying very wrongly. 
and you'll have to bear the consequences. So be careful what you say, be careful what you do. The medicine for this is count silently to three before you say or do anything because your tongue will be faster than your brain, your actions will be faster than your brain and then regret comes later on. It's a time where you can be cheated, you can be let down, you can be played out. Don't go into the sea, that's for sure. And it's a time when some kind of disappointment is waiting for you. If it's to make it a minimal disappointment by ex not exposing yourself to any kind of risk morning, afternoon. Look after your work, deadlines don't go missing. Look after your business, something wrong it will be happening. Evening nightfall period, too much water. What that means simply is that situations are changing left, right, center. So it'll make you very changeable as well. It'll make you very moody, very oversensitive. And you'll have a lack of direction for sure. So do the opposite. Tell yourself, evening nightfall period, I want to make a plan and I'm going to stick to the plan. I'm not going to upset by people by changing my mind, by showing my moods. And when you can control all this, then you'll control the evening nightfall period and you'll be very oversensitive about something because emotional planets are also there. So emotionally something could go wrong, but don't surrender. Take the soft approach and you'll be able to control this. The 8th November Thursday, now that's very good in the morning afternoon period for you coming from Gemini. But they are long term planets and you have a horoscope which goes very fast. So you have to slow down for the sake of these long term planets for the morning afternoon. They want to do something for you long term, that's why they are going slow. So something is nicely developing long term. So you have to be patient, Be wait for their actions of these planets. You'll get something very good ultimately in the morning afternoon. And this something very good is going to affect you for some time in a wonderful way. So you have to tell yourself that you need to be cautious about being hasty or impatient. I like these long-term planets of yours on this 8th November. They will make something for you where in a place of work or whether in business or whether in the romance you met or whether in the marriage, they're going to make something very solid for you. So give them time. Ooh, but the evening nightfall is terrible, terrible, terrible. Can't get worse. So look how the day changed. So morning, afternoon, very nice and pleasant and long term, evening, nightfall, terrible. These are planets that make you dominating, that bring the worst out of you in every possible way. They can also bring the worst kind of disappointments come knocking on your door. And you will be in a position where you will lose your confidence, you will lose your self-esteem to get what you want. You will go on your knees. So these are planets which take away your self-confidence. Don't let that happen. Tell yourself you have a dignity and you're going to keep your dignity that way. Don't succumb to the negative things that these planets want you to do. This word low, low esteem simply means that you, you are ready to do things of a lesser nature than your dignity. Well, apart from that, it's going to be a very difficult evening and nightfall period. So I'd rather that you go back home early. But if you're planned, if you're planned already to stay on there, then you have to worry. Hour by hour, these planets get worse in the, in the nightfall period. So drive carefully, don't drink too much. Let's go to the 9th November. And the 9th November, Friday, very aggressive planets are there. So your morning and afternoon of Friday the 9th is going to be full of an air of aggression. Things are very volatile and they are volatile in a negative way. And so be careful of arguments, be careful you are not over determined to get what you want, it will all go wrong. So teamwork is the answer. Be part of your team because there may be some people in your team who will have a horoscope which is good for them on this 9th Friday morning. And when you latch on to them, you go on their ride. So don't stand out, don't want to do things on your own, whether in business, whether in job. Chasing for romance, you'll find that you don't get very far, you get very angry very fast. Evening nightfall also very bad. Oh, I'm sorry, evening nightfall very good, very good. Evening nightfall are the planets of unexpected goodness. So they make your evening nightfall 
exceptionally exciting and lucky for you. So be out and about. Of course, these morning planets of aggressiveness will like to be also there in the evening and they have every right to be there. So once in a while you may feel a bit touchy about what he said, what he's done. Just repeat to yourself, I have to take the soft approach. And you will just tame these planets there. Evening, night falls, so much unexpected good luck. You have to dress well, you have to look good. You are going to meet somebody, you're going to do something, you're going to somehow get into a situation which is unexpectedly waiting to give you a reward. So, you have to look good and plan what you want. You can't get everything under the sun. Plan what you want and then go to meet people where that plan can work. The 10th November, Saturday, a day of arrogance, morning and afternoon, because the planets will make you like that. They make you very difficult, not part of a team. They make you intolerant. And they make you a person who somehow will say and do the wrong things because you are very touchy and you lash back very quickly. Well, what's the point of going out with anybody if you're going to behave like that? So I've made it very clear to you what you need to do. I won't use the word humble. What you need to do is to be tolerant, be part of a team. And that way you automatically will be the more pleasant person. You may meet important people as well, but be careful, these important people may have other designs on you. Evening nightfall turns fantastically good, couldn't be better. So you're going to get very lucky. So plan hour by hour the whole evening and nightfall how you can get what you want. You've got to make use of these planets. So if it's for the job, go and meet people who can help you for the job. If it's for the business, go and make plans to meet people so they can get you the business and help you. If you're hunting for the new romance, go out, dress well, look good, you're going to attract somebody. If it's for the marriage, compatibility and happiness, go out with your marriage and family people. You can't get everything under the sun. These planets are fantastic, but they can't do all that. So you focus and you'll get the best out of the evening and it's going to be a wonderful ending for you. Of course, this arrogant planet of the morning afternoon, you can't keep him away to be there in the evening night. So once in a while you'll get touchy of what is said and you may just show the arrogance trying to control that part of it. Well, I'm already Skyping and I'm charging USD 50, 5 zero for a 90 minute Skype session. And during these 90 minutes, I'll talk to you about your next seven, eight or nine years in all areas of your life. And I'll do that based on your date of birth, time of birth and looking at your palms. I'll give you your lucky personal lottery numbers which will be relevant for you for the rest of your life. Your lucky days, your lucky colors, your lucky gemstones, your lucky direction. A lot of information in all areas of your life. So go to Facebook, go to Skype, send me an email and I'll reply that. And it'll just cost you USD 550 to know your next 7, 8 or 9 years and get such valuable information from me. Well, until then, thank you and good luck.